Yeah, I think it's quite interesting as well how things have developed over the last few years. We, we've got the core product, which is the, the Manning, uh, of course, which Elm has explained there. And we've also outsourced a lot of activities over the last few years as yep. well. Uh, we incorporated uh, the Ocean, Free Ships Oceana Services uh, two years ago. Yep. Uh, and that, as we have outsourced many functions <coughs> such as the catering, uh, the catering purchasing, technical purchasing, uh, outsourced accounts, commercial team, travel. So, so a lot of things are actually developing here in the Philippines from the outsourcing point of view as well. We also have the, the culinary school uh, on our eighth floor, which is a fantastic operation. It's got a canteen. It's also got uh, four galley kitchens, uh, classrooms, etc. So I think this is really going to set us apart uh, from our competitors. So it's a great, it's a, it's a well-balanced office. Mm -hmm. yeah. We started the process for looking for a new uh, new building, a new home, about two and a half years ago. Um, the process was very long and, to be honest, quite difficult at times. We had not many options when it came to selecting a property. Not many of our uh, potential tenants wanted a crewing company inside their building due to the high footfall of uh, people uh, quite you know disturbing other tenants etc. We eventually chose Ashiana uh, due to the fact that we can see the B Group sign from uh, Rojas Boulevard. It's very prominent, uh, and I think that the fact that the, the floors are manageable as well. Uh, the floor levels we've got just now are 1,500 square meters, and it, our, our our actual operations fit very nicely into each floor. Uh, so it was a better fit, uh, and we also got on very well with the the uh, Ashiana themselves. You know, Buds and his team very, very uh, helpful uh, and we had a good relationship with them. So that, that was why we chose uh, Asia. In addition to that, I fully agree uh, with what uh, James said. Um, what we see also in this uh, area is that it is soon uh, become the next capital, uh, business capital of the, the Philippines. The reason certainly will grow in this uh, particular area, its proximity to the airport, yeah. Also, the advantages of uh, the southern part of Philippines uh, definitely progressing, where most of our seafarers are uh, located. So these all gave us uh, an advantage to certainly uh, find a nice new home here. Well, I, we see that the our seafarers' uh, interest in the new facility is our advantage. But the challenges here is how for them to get it here pretty quickly because in our previous location, it's uh, in the central of Metro Manila. But uh, we managed to mitigate the circumstances by providing the bus services for them in a certain point locations. And as such, we believe that uh, as this development in the area further progress, there will be certainly uh, um, public transportation increasingly visible in the very near future. Just like now, if you will look at uh, Arong Laws Boulevard, they are now stopping uh, near our office. So pretty soon, there, there will be all over. So it will not be a big uh, concern for our seafarer. Of course, that's an initial challenge for them, but we see now that the challenge has been uh, progressively mitigated. Yeah. Uh, and we didn't really have too much issues. You know, I think at our first day when we opened, we had over a, over a thousand uh, crew turning up, you know, which is quite phenomenal. I think, I don't know what our, our numbers in the old office were, they were around about 300, 300 is the maximum that we had in the old office. So, so you know, we're now you know 300 uh, in the old office. We're now you know on an open day we got over a thousand queues right around the corner, and now we're averaging over 600 a day. Yeah. So I don't think it's been an issue. We have you know world class office space. It's it's a fantastic operation, and um, I think the fact that we've been able to 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 start afresh with that you know mm -hmm. fresh blueprint. Uh, Elmer and I spent many hours thinking where do we put things? You know where do we put the the uh, the, the crew in operation, where do we put the yeah. catering, where do we put the training, where do we put the outsourcing. So we actually managed to sit down and, and, and plan this all out. And I think, you know, uh, only time will tell, but I think I think the way that we've set it up, uh, along with the team of course, is, is, is ideal. And I think it's given us a great foundation to kick, kick off from. Uh, the previous office, you know, it did its job, you know, and, and, and I don't want to, to say anything bad about it because uh, obviously we had great times there and, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the company developed there. So, that, you know, I don't have anything bad to say about the old office, but it, it you know, it reached its capacity. Uh, you know, we're getting to the stage where we, we had no options to, uh, to, to put staff anywhere else. You know, we had no options to, to move things around. We just had to take what was given. 
And it's really good to be here because it is the real work environment everybody is aspiring to be part of. We see the people and the employees are all motivated. Uh, we uh, look at them and you see how happy they are when you pass uh, through the holidays. So certainly that gives us a great degree of satisfaction because we believe that if our staff are happy, it is a key to productivity. So that being said, then we have all together one aim, one ambition, one wish for the company, and that is for this company to become successful, not only now, but in years ago.